Good evening. News 13 has learned Mason Campbell, who is now 18, is pushing to get out early. It was five years ago that he opened fire inside the gym at Barendo Middle School in Roswell with a shotgun, seriously wounding two of his classmates. News 13's Rebecca Atkins has been tracking this story. Rebecca? Yeah, Dean and Jess, we spoke with Nathaniel Tavares, who was left blind in one eye after the shooting. He says he's unsure if the boy who changed his life forever is ready to be released. For college student Nathaniel Tavares, his scars spur questions. Many people do, in fact, ask, you know, what is that from? They tell a story of what he's been through. People still suffer from even witnessing that within the gym that Latest day. On this breaking news this morning of a school shooting from Roswell, New Mexico. This is In January 2014, Tavares and classmate Kendall Sanders were left severely injured after 12-year-old Mason Campbell opened fire the sawed-off shotgun at an assembly in the gym at Barendo Middle School. Unfortunately, I'm still ha I'm still blind in the left eye uh, with a minimal uh, vision in the right. Shotgun pellets still mar his body, but it's the scars you can't see that hurt the most. I still continue to have mixed emotions about the fact whether or not justice has yet been served. Campbell was sentenced to serve time until he's 21, but now at just 18, he's trying to get out. It honestly took quite a while for me to process everything. Um, I had several thoughts running through my mind. Nathaniel questions the shooter's mental state and what he's been doing in juvenile jail the last five years. If he may have been planning something else to do and other people to hurt or other lives he could possibly destroy. The Lubbock Christian University freshman still doesn't know what should happen to the teen that took so much from him. Truly, I don't know if he's ready to be released. Nathaniel has put much of what happened behind him and says whatever the shooter's fate, he forgave him a long time ago. I do wish him well and I made it a point at the beginning whenever I had first woken up in the hospital that I did forgive him. Nathaniel tells us CYFD did hold a hearing yesterday to hear Mason Campbell's argument for an early release. He says he's still waiting to learn if there was a decision. Dean, back to you. All right, Rebecca, thank you. Now, because he was charged as a minor, Mason Campbell's case is sealed. CYFD will not comment on that case except to say that a panel within the department rules on requests for early release.